okay so um it's not a motor vlog for those of you who are um subscribers to my channel uh, but since i haven't put up one in like 11 months i thought i would try to put up something else just things that i find fun and uh, the latest thing is i built an a radio controlled airboat and um out of foam board with a simple uh, Blue Wonder motor, uh, 1700 kV and um, a 12 amp speed controller, just simple. Uh, wrapped it in tape, started from the back so the leading edge is uh, covered by the trailing edge. The dimensions are, um, if you're American you can just uh, divide these by 2.5 to get them in inches, but in centimeters they are around 50 centimeters long, 25 centimeters uh, wide and 6 centimeters high. I also put these three ridges underneath to, to ma make it get a bit more grip and um, they are uh, 5 by 5 millimeters uh, so half a centimeter this the same thickness as the uh, foam board uh, is the width of them um, yeah so it's a real simple design made this out of five millimeter plywood uh, just five centimeters by ten i think centimeters something like that and the same for this five centimeters and just to come off a bit and I have a 5 degree uh, down angle on the engine mount just so, well, I read that was what you wanted. I uh, This is how I connected the two and uh, just a simple uh, Hextronic 9 gram servo there and a box to keep some of the electrics uh, dry. So let's give it a go. To show my confidence, I brought my swim trunks. And it blows in the wrong direction. pulls to the right and I have full left ah oh, well It's not as fast as I hoped it would be. But since these are real cheap uh, electronics, I wasn't really expecting too much.
and you know you can always um, put uh, a bigger engine and a bigger speed controller on there. Something you can say is that uh, it really uh, grips the water well, so I can uh, do quite tight turns. I've seen some people who uh, didn't put the three slats on the bottom uh, and they've been sliding around quite badly. Uh, so I think uh, this is a way to get uh, quite good grip. Okay, I'm going at full chat uh, almost all the time to get some speed, so I just want to check the temperature of... Oh, that's really warm. Oh, I don't want to hold on to that. Right, so it seems uh, maybe the Blue Wonder motor is um, uh, a bit over stressed like this. Uh, maybe I need to put on a smaller prop so it doesn't overheat as much. I uh, wouldn't want to burn it out. Um, because of course a, a 7x4 prop is probably just fine if you uh, if you go uh, at uh, if you don't go at full chat all the time, but uh, you see now I'm at uh, slightly over half throttle and uh, well this is a bit slow. I'll probably let, let it rest for a while now, I've been driving for around five minutes and... Uh, okay, that's actually better. Uh, I slowed it down the last minute here and well it's still warm. Uh, 
uh, but I can hold on to it. But the ESC seems fine, so uh, that's always something. But um, yeah, maybe a smaller prop or a lighter chassis. Uh, because as you can see, the uh, I made this a little bit bigger than it needs to be, and uh, of course a smaller um, smaller boat will mean less drag in the water. Uh, so yeah, but. I can't be asked to build a smaller one, so I probably just uh, build uh, uh, buy a bigger engine. Yeah, that'll be fun. <coughs>